there is something going around that you all need to see, and it has to do with Mullen Automotive, and maybe they have completed something. That's a milestone, I guess. So all I ask, because it's three o'clock in the morning right now, all I ask is that you like the video. That's it. Let's get this to 300 likes. That's all I ask. I guess I would have a second thing I would ask you for is to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Um, I make Mullen content every single day. And uh, yesterday was a wild ride, right? But right now we're pulling back. And I'm not too concerned about pre-market. It is expected after you go up over 100% in any day, a pullback is going to come. But the question is, how far is this pullback going to break down? Are we moving higher? And also I have an update from Brad with Randy Marion for you all. So before we get into any of that, don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. And let's get right into it. So first, let me say I do expect more news to come. Today being Friday, I don't know if it's going to be today, but I do expect more news next week. Okay, this is just my own opinion. Of course, nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You always got to do your own research. But I hit up Brad and I asked him a couple things that um, up above this text. I said, how's it going with the vehicles? Have you gotten any reports back? Any complaints about anything? He said, I've had zero complaints on all the vehicles so far that we've delivered from customers. I've only gotten complaints from investors, which makes sense, right? Um, and then we were talking for a little bit, but then I said, another thing people are confused by is Mullins News said they invoiced you for the 38 class three trucks, but invoice does not mean that Randy Marion paid. He said that's tomorrow, which is today, Friday. So Randy Marion is paying Mullen tomorrow for the 38 class three vehicles. People are sketched out because the news says invoice. He says that or getting financed. So let me know what you take from that. They're either paying Mullen for the 38 vehicles or they're getting financed to pay Mullen, basically. Before I show you what else is going on with Mullen, you got to check out this new stock I just bought, Hut. Two days ago, I posted on the Patreon. Basically, when I posted this below me, it was trading at $12.10. Right now in pre-market, we're at $13.80, okay? Up over 15%. I'm not playing around. This next year is gonna be the best year we've ever had. And if you want in, you have two days left until the $7 moves up to $10, okay? A bunch of people have been coming in the last couple of days. We have a great community. You wanna make sure you join this if you've been thinking about it. Link is down below in the Patreon. So I found this on X by Ernest. Make sure you follow him if you don't follow him yet. Uh, you can see his name is right there. Puts out a lot of good content, Mullen related. Um, also breaks down 8Ks, which are it's pretty good. I don't really like to do that all the time, so I tend to go to some people that break those numbers down for myself and for you guys, and then I'll share it with, obviously, all of you on YouTube. But definitely give him a follow. Definitely someone that is worth following. Someone leaked these photos on stock twits. Looks like Mullen is closing in on that projected target by end of year. Thanks for sharing with me. And then he tagged the person that shared it with him. And then he also tagged uh, David and I always forget that guy's name. Daddy Rambo's whatever, whatever his name is. The guy who posted in front of dumb money like he went to the movie theater and saw it. And I think it was related to Mullen somehow. But then we crashed down, so we don't even need to get into that. But you can see right here, vehicle 100 next to me. Uh, it looks like for the class three, right? So a lot of focus around the class three right now. I think we're going to get some class ones very soon to Randy Marion. You know, just, just my feeling on that. But the class three, they obviously got 38 of them yesterday. I'll show you the news in a minute because I talked a little bit about it, but I didn't really show you the details. So we'll, we'll look into that in a second. But you can see right here, they're all celebrating, having having a good time. It looks like 100 Class 3 vehicles are done and ready to go. Here's a little clip I wanted to show you from Market Watch. They actually put this article out yesterday. They said even with Thursday's rally, which was yesterday, the stock has plummeted 99.7% year to date. Okay, It is unfortunate with how low we still are because anyone that's been invested in Mullen yesterday really didn't do anything for you unless you just got in or you've been trading the stock. But people that even have brought their cost basis down. Yesterday didn't really put a dent in your portfolio because everyone's been down so much. I think most people have an average of over $250 now. Probably some people over $500 or even $1,000 as their cost basis with Mullen stock. Right now we're trading at 
1232 in pre-market. So we've obviously have crashed down from the all-time high, all-time highs of yesterday. But there's good news, right? The 38 vehicles delivered to Randy Man were part of a commitment to buy a thousand vehicles, with most of them expected to be delivered in 2024. So 38, we gotta get to a thousand. We got a long time. And on Wednesday, the company said its Mullen One Electric Class One cargo van received certification from the California Air Resources Board as a zero emissions vehicle. That means that the vehicle is now certified in all 15 states and Washington, D.C. that follow CARB regulations, okay? So it could get very exciting, but it might take some time. There's this video I want to show you. Um, Yahoo Finance, I think that's what it is. I didn't create this video. I recorded it that I just saw it this morning, but they're talking about Mullen Automotive. They were talking about Tesla and Kathy Wood also, but Mullen is trending right now. Watch this video. But uh, let's talk about a much smaller electric vehicle manufacturer, Mullen Automotive Rising. After delivering 38 Class 3 vehicles to Randy Marion Automotive Group, the vehicles apparently have been invoiced for $2.5 million. And investors perhaps optimistic that this marks a step forward in Mullen's production ramp up. Mullen has been on my mind and it was on our trending ticker page today ever since we talked to the stock twit CEO earlier in the week. And he said, this stock has been the top trending ticker yeah, for them right. for the whole year. The stock has almost lost all of its value it's been, this yeah, year. It's crushed. They yeah. had they just announced a reverse stock split, and the CEO came out in a letter and tried to defend it. Um, but basically, it was to keep it from being dis delisted. That typically that right. kind of move is made. So, but people are really interested in this company. And remember, short seller Hindenburg Research. Yes. It was, it was um, last year they called the company an EV hustle. Stock was valued at around six hundred, right? So that is, you would call that a successful short, Julie. I think. You would. So maybe that's why it trends, right? And it is our top trending ticker right now. Um, maybe that's why it's trends because people are shorting it. I guess some people. Yeah. Or it's kind of like you just like to watch the carnage. Maybe that's what they like maybe, to talk about. Maybe that's, yeah, yeah, maybe like that's a, yeah, like you have to.